Hey guys, Ed from Profence. Over the years, we've listened to our customers with concerns specifically related to the M134s of the past, directly concerning the complications with loading the ammunition, overall reliability, and then the lack of flexibility. At Profence, we developed an upgrade kit that addresses all those concerns and moreover enhances the performance of the weapon to something that is unmatched or unseen to date. What we have here is an M134 with the mission upgrade kit installed. Let's head into the shop and learn a little bit more about this. Uh, this is Kyle Fagan. He's worked with Profence for a few years now. Uh, Kyle's a subject matter expert when it comes to M134s. So Kyle, it looks like there's a legacy M134 and a modern M134. Could you tell us something about them? Uh, you're exactly right. We have a legacy 134 here on the right and a PF M134 here on the left. What we're gonna show you today is how you can take all the technology that we use in our PF M134 and transfer it to the legacy weapons to bring it up into the 21st century and provide the end user with increased lethality at lower cost. So what you'll see here on the legacy weapon is a uh, flash suppressor, standard weapon. On ours, you'll see our patented arrow clamp, which helps aid in cooling the barrels. Legacy weapon, you'll see here, uh, standard barrels. Everybody has them. We use FN chrome lined barrels for increased wear resistance. The legacy weapon also has a motor that's capable of single speed. We've increased our motor performance to enable it to do dual speed, which we'll talk about soon when we talk about the gun control unit. Great. The current legacy configuration utilizes dual tank firing bolts. We've gone back through modern processes and materials and gone back to the single tank design, which reduces maintenance time and costs. On the legacy weapon, you have a gun control unit, which fires the weapon at 3,000 rounds a minute. One of the biggest differences you'll find between these two weapons is right here in the gun control unit. Our gun control unit fires at 1,500 or 3,000 rounds a minute. It also includes a built-in ammunition display to give the weapons operator greater situational awareness on their ammunition load that they have left. This combination of dual rate of fire and ammunition situational awareness makes the weapon more lethal in the hands of the operator. Uh, and additionally on our GCU, you have an ammunition boost function. What that does is operate your ammunition cam booster motor to allow the operator to boost his ammunition from the ammunition magazine, wherever it is, up into the weapon. This allows for rapid rearming. Whereas on the legacy weapons, it could take you up to a minute to rearm by pulling your ammunition through by hand. Another major component of our mission upgrade kit is the feeder delinker assembly. As we all know, with legacy weapons, feeding with gloves on can be cumbersome. Um, we've taken and simplified this process by uh, making our ammunition door a uh, single door with an ammunition control tongue, which will keep the gunner from getting his thumb caught in the door when you're trying to shut it and rearm. There's also been numerous improvements on the inside of the feeder to increase reliability. Kyle, that's some great information. Uh, I'd like to see how easy it is to install these parts onto a legacy system. Let's do it. Thanks to our mil spec and interchangeability, we can see that a skilled technician can assemble this gun in 15 minutes. Now that we've seen the installation in the shop, Let's go out to the field and see it in action. As you can see, the old ways of thinking and the concerns with the legacy M134 have been addressed with the Mission Upgrade Kit. We can help you attain overmatch. We can help you sustain reliability. And we add value to your M134 by employing the dual rate of fire. If you have any questions or would like to learn more, reach out to us via Profence.com or contact one of our staff today. <laughs>